Okay, Acts chapter 8 picks up from chapter 7. Remember, uh, the book of Acts wasn't written with chapters and verses. That's just something we've added later. But it says, Saul was one of the witnesses to Stephen's death, and he agreed completely with his killing. Okay, and we'll come back to Saul in the next chapter. But first, it's going to, it's going to, the book of Acts is going to tell us sort of what happened after that and, and how God used that first martyrdom and the persecution for his purposes. It says a great wave of persecution began that day, sweeping over the city in Jerusalem or the church in Jerusalem. And all the believers except the apostles were scattered throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria. So now the the believers are scattered. And it says in verse four, but the believers who were scattered preached the good news about Jesus wherever they went. So see how God is using this thing that Certainly Satan meant for evil, God is using it for good because they're scattered now because of the persecution, but now because they're scattered, the message is beginning to spread. So it says in verse five, Philip, for example, went to the city of Samaria and told the people there about the Messiah. So let's take a look at this map here. So here's, uh, here's Jerusalem right in here. And so um, Philip goes up to the region of Samaria and he goes into the city. And remember what Jesus had said in Acts chapter 1 verse 8. He said, you're going to be my witnesses in Jerusalem. That's that city right there. And in Judea, that's the region right here. And into Samaria. And now here we go. We see this being fulfilled. And then he said, Jesus said into the ends of the earth. And we'll see that later. Okay, but right now we're just beginning to see how the word, the gospel is spreading from Jerusalem outward. Okay, so it says that Philip went there and told the people there about the Messiah. And you can read more about that. But it says when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that the people of Samaria had accepted God's message, they sent Peter and John there. And you can read what happens. Uh, They they pray, pray for them to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy, remember the Holy Spirit's so important at this, at this period, it's so important. It's it's so central to the story in John and in Acts. And it says, um, it says that they received the Holy Spirit. You can read that for yourself. But it says, after testifying and preaching the word of the Lord in Samaria, Peter and John went back to Jerusalem and they stopped in many Samaritan villages along the way to preach the good news. So once again, they're going back to Jerusalem, but they're going Samaria. The city of Samaria is up here somewhere, and they're heading down, and they're just preaching the good news to these Samaritans. Remember, the Samaritans were not fully Jewish, right? They were sort of half-breeds, but get, the message now is being received by them. And so now they're going to go back into Jerusalem. But we're not done with the chapter because it says that Philip, he went south down the desert road that runs from Jerusalem to Gaza. So Philip ends up going south So let's see that map here. We're going to do that on a modern map. Okay, so here is Jerusalem right here. Philip goes south toward Gaza, and he goes down in here toward Gaza, back to the Bible now, and it says what happened there is he meets this Ethiopian eunuch along the way, and you can read this for yourself, but he shares the gospel with this guy. The gospel gets comes to faith, and he says, look, there's some water. Why shouldn't I be baptized? And they go down and, and Philip baptizes him. And so so this, this guy gets baptized now. And it ends up in verse 40. It says, Philip found himself farther north at the town of Azotus. And he preached the good news there. And in every town along the way until he came to Caesarea. So again, go back to a modern map. So he's he goes from, from down here in Gaza. He ends up in Azotus, which is modern day Ashdod. He ends up here miraculously. God transports him here and he preaches the message from here all the way up to, um, uh, to Caesarea, which is just south here of of modern day Haifa. So this whole way, Philip is preaching the good news all along this route, all along the Mediterranean here. He's preaching the good news to anyone who would listen to it. And again, the, the point is that the message of the gospel is going out and, and the what Jesus told the disciples in Acts chapter 1 verse 8 is now clearly happening in Acts chapter 8. So you're ready to read Acts chapter 8? Go ahead and do that and we'll see you tomorrow for chapter 9.